Yo, what's up guys, K-Dub. And this shit is getting way out of control, man. Like, for real. I was just basically, you know, get on YouTube, you know, look at some videos, and look at this shit. Look at this shit, man. It's already bad enough we're dealing with, you know, white supremacy, you know, making a fuckery out of this country again. And now we got this shit. So I'm like, you know, whatever, I'm gonna look it up on, you know, on a website. And 13 dead in Spain terror attack. Hell oh, man, pe people are losing their fucking minds out here, man. It is dangerous out here. Now I can see why people are not going out as much, they always stay in a home. It's because of this shit. I'm sorry I'm swearing so much, but it is getting way out of control, man. Got some <laughs> spitting over the phone. Yeah, two arrested made, two arrests made after van plows into the crowd in Barcelona, killing 13 and injuring at least 50. Official sins. God damn, man. First, you know, motherfuckers raining people open, raining people over in what? France or London or whatever that country was now they're doing this shit again now we got more and more people's bodies laying against the, laying against the grounds and you know more more you know government officials you know GOP senator is now still talking about you know Trump's uh, state Yeah, man, this stuff is getting way out of control, man. This is getting way out of control. That's crazy. Take that off. You must place your debit card. You have Wells Fargo, right? Yeah. Oh, I hate ads. S O Terry. I hate them. All right, things over. What oh, boy? From the event, telling you what, what was what, what was their sense of what had occurred. Look. Okay. It, it, it's very interesting because in Spain, English is not widely spoken, it's, and it was very difficult to work out, except when you could see the fear and the distress on these people and the fact that they were screaming in terror, you know, regardless of what might have happened, we knew we had to get ourselves out of there. And after being locked down into the shop for a period of time, our hotel is one street back again, so we quickly exited in the opposite direction around the corner and we're locked in our hotel. Damn. Great. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, let's see. Van plows into. What we know so far a van had plowed into a crowd of people in Barcelona, killing 13 people, injuring more than 50. Local police has confirmed that the incident, <clears throat> excuse me, local police have confirmed that the incident was a terror attack. Two men arrested, saying, says Kathleen, Kathleen President? I don't know if I'm saying it right. The number of dead is bound to rise, according to local officials. The incident took place near Las Ramblas. Las Ramblas. An area popular with uh, tourists. People have told people to avoid location. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't got, shoot, you ain't gonna tell me twice. And Putin condones attack. Okay. Here goes this shit. Russian President Vladimir Putin says the attack in Barcelona was a cruel and cynical crime 
Amendment against civil uh, civilians. What has happened once again confirms the need for real unification of the efforts of the entire global community in uncompromising struggle against the force of terror, he said. And breaking news they already made. Yeah, that's what they already said. And you know, people, I'm guessing this isn't really important. Uh, oh, it's prime, Spanish Prime Minister, okay. Yeah, this guy, in his latest tweet, Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, Rajoy, I don't know if I'm saying him. Rajoy, I'm saying Rajoy. Insi insists a terrorist will never defeat a un united people <clears throat> who love freedom versus barbarism. And he, uh, oh, he said that in Spanish. Okay. And Messi, we will we will not surrender. FC Barcelona star Messi has sent his condolences to the victims of the, of the attack in a post on Instagram. I want to send my condolences and all my support for the families and friends of the victims of a terror attack in our beloved Barcelona and to totally condemn any act of violence, the footballer said. We will not surrender. There are much more of us who want to live in a peaceful world without hatred and where respect and tolerance are the basis of coexistence. Are the basis of coexistence. And I was in eyewitnesses, shock and confusion. Mark based, Bastard. Yeah, I'm gonna say Mark based. Told CNN he was working in the center of Barcelona when he heard sirens wailing nearby. You never think it can happen to you or be so close, he said. I went to see what was going and saw everyone was running. At that point, the police were starting to arrive. And you could really see the tension there was a lot of confusion and everybody was scared should I be scared too man if I see a lot of people running in this big ass uh, car or van they say this is plowing through people it's, it's crazy man now motherfuckers is using cars to kill people German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Merkel, whatever. Yeah, German Chancellor Angela called it the attack in Barcelona revolting, according to her spokesman. We are mourning the victims of this disgusting attack in Barcelona in solid, solidarity, in solidarity, and friendship side by side with the Spanish tweeted Stefan Seibert. Seibert. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. But it says, I saw people flying through the air. Yeah. All the sheer Zina. Jai. Whatever. Was on his. Yeah, Ali was on his bicycle when he saw the van using the Barcelona attack drive past. I saw people flying in the air, into the air, and everybody was running into the shop, shops on either side, he told CNN. I saw a lot of ambulances. I saw a lot of emergency vehicles almost immediately, he said. Listen to his interview with CNN. That's crazy, man. Yeah, the Spanish royal family, you know, talked about this. The, uh, the attackers are assassins simply criminals who are not going to terrorize us read the latest post on the family's official twitter feed yeah man no and that's it yeah they already talked about that yeah man this this is uh crazy man like 13 dead and 50 injured that's wow yeah I, yeah, it's a good thing they can. It's a good thing that you know they caught these guys. You know, locked them up for a long ass time, really forever. 
they definitely lock them up forever, man. Hey, man, I don't know what, what else to say to this, man. It's just, you know, I just, I just wish, you know, people, yeah, definitely, you know, you know tell people, you know, definitely, you know, to, uh, you know, watch your backs, because, you know, I don't know how you can, you know, you know, avoid these type of things, because, you know, things like this is just, you know, out of the ordinary, and you just, you know, cars driving in, uh, plowing into you and all that stuff, you don't, you don't think about stuff like this, and it's crazy, man, because now you have to think about people, you know, you know, think about people, you know, uh, you know, driving by you, making sure they're not driving into you and stuff like that. This, this, just, this is very traumatizing to people. I, I definitely understand this. Because I would have definitely, you know, you know, at some point, you know, even scared to, you know, hear a car turn on. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to, you know, make fun of the situation. I'm just, you know, trying to be, you know, I, I don't know. There's a word I'm looking for. I don't know what, how to say it, but but again, I just wish the people, you know, wish them a very, you know, speedy recovery, you know, hope they don't go through another traumatic thing like this ever again. Because, you know, even though there's a lot of people I hate, I just don't, I don't wish, you know, that type of stuff like that to them. Even though they don't like me, I, I don't wish stuff like that to people. But yeah, <clears throat> I don't know what else to say. But again, I wish them speed. I wish the people that you know that went through this traumatic, you know, experience, wish them a very fast recovery. And again, won't do, go through this ever again. But yeah, just gotta you know watch your back, man. You really do, man. And I definitely understand, you know, people. I definitely understand, you know, you only got to keep yourself packing because, you know, you definitely got to, you know, be be prepared, man, because anything can happen. Not just in America, but throughout the whole world, you know, anything can happen, man. And you definitely don't want to be statistic, man. Definitely don't. But... Hope you guys know. <clears throat> but again, uh, but at the end of this note, I hope you guys know enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes.